Good morning, folks. Today we've got a magnetic storm causing disruptions at Earth, including a potential nuclear incident. A heliospheric disruption has occurred and briefly dropped the quake watch, but another one is coming soon. Another U.S. weather warning follows, and we'll see the finish line for a major development. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, where that bottom right filament did indeed release yesterday. We will come back to that, and otherwise it was a very calm star. The real story was back here at Earth, where the solar wind from the corona hole that faced Earth during the Sumatra quake swept past our planet, surging speed and plasma temperature and delivering level 3 magnetic storm conditions. Those were global, with localized effects seen all over. The most concerning was a non-reactor related transformer fire at the Oconee station that began as the Earth got whacked and the magnetic storms began. Multiple fires and airline incidents are already reported, with more that will be reported today. Eyes open. Coming back to our star, the plasma filaments standing tall at the limbs steal the show as the Earth-facing disk remains very calm, solar flaring still succumbing to the Earth-facing quiet effect. That filament that released on the southwest was indeed relevant, however. Even while it wasn't able to release at Earth, it created a heliospheric disruption that will longitudinally couple with our planet somewhere between tomorrow night and sometime on the 9th. In the meantime, the quake watch drops as the energy is between Earth and Sun, and consequently our planet didn't see a single five-pointer yesterday, let alone any bigger. But it's not just the CME that will couple with Earth soon and re-raise the quake watch. Jupiter, Earth, and the new moon eclipse will align with the Sun over the next 48 hours. So that's the CME, planets, and here's the coronal hole. It is the second negative opening, so another major quake isn't expected. But somewhere between magnitude 6 and 7 should be coming around the middle of the week. I'd like to yank some attention away from the west coast, unless of course you're still in the flood and landslide risks, you keep watching, but the rest of us, watch what happens with that low and the related rainfall in the central U.S. For five straight days, we'll have flood and storm conditions in the south and the southeast. Please check your five-day forecast there. Lastly, folks, look at the power of the observers. There are just hours remaining to join the founding members club of the Disaster Prediction app. Our programs are already coming together, as Kong and I didn't feel like waiting, including the potential to completely revolutionize a major space weather index in a way that the world has never seen before. Lots of great rewards when you support the cause, but any donation of any amount whatsoever gets you into the founding group, and your name or business will be noted as a founder of the Disaster Prediction app, and one of the ones who helped bring the technology to the people. We've got pressure and radar in Europe and down under current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.